Uh, it's it's actually my pleasure to be here uh, this morning to um, to be able to highlight what we are doing at Recycle Points. I will briefly run across my slides. Um, Recycle Points. Um, uh, it's a waste recycling and social benefit venture that uh, motivates people to recycle by creating value from their everyday waste. I wouldn't go about uh, telling you the problem because um, I think a lot has been highlighted already with uh, the, my, the previous speakers about the challenges we have. Uh, uniquely, it falls not just now as a Nigerian problem, but also uh, as a, a problem that cuts across the globe with regards to you know, issues with waste um, management and the issues with uh, uh, plastic pollution and, and the likes. And the idea for us was to be able to come up with solutions that can help us tackle this problem. Uh, the major ticking bomb now at the moment is the PET, polyethylene terephthalate uh, packaging bottle, which is rampantly used for um, beverage and water bottling. And um, it, it just, uh, uh, in, in, in Nigeria in 2018, we had about 5 billion bottles, and this is actually projected to double by 2022. So it's a, it's, a, it's a race against having to ensure that all of us have systems where we can be able to efficiently recover these plastics. Else, we will be seeing things like, uh, Madam Caroline mentioned earlier, you'll be hearing things like bans or tax for use of most of this item, which at the end of the day, would be the challenges that the consumer would, uh, would bear. But we've been able to look at it and we found out that uh, these issues uh, stem across certain um, uh, parameters like lack of education, low collection infrastructure, high costs uh, uh, and, and logistics, you know, low quality materials, and then you know, the, the, the low recycling capacity due to the huge capex that is required you know, to be able to get involved in these kind of um, activities. So as Recycle Points, we came together, we assessed these challenges and we found out that uh, uh, we need to be able to uh, uh, have people assess, you know, recycling receptacles at their convenience and come up with a motivation that would allow them to do this and then also provide a source of reward or value for it. So that actually led to the solution Recycle Points, which is, on one hand, an incentive-based waste recycling initiative, and that one that fosters uh, social benefit. Um, we collect most of the fast um, uh, uh, post-consumer items like the corrugated brown cartons, you know, the PET bottles, pure water sachets, used beverage cans, old newspapers, glass bottles, and we have a unique points earning chart for which most of these items, you earn points based on the quantity of items you turn to us, and those points you can use to redeem cash or valuable household items from our iRecycle store. We deploy basic uh, recovery uh, platform where we pick up items, we actually send them down to us uh, through our recycling banks or hubs, or we can have waste busters, the guys that use tricycles to be able to come in and pick them from you. And then from there it goes, you know, or, or, or can also be picked with uh, our trash runner vehicles and it goes to our collection of sorting hubs and then ends up as our, at, the, at the recycling plant. And this hugely has created some level of impact. We know with the um, with uh, the level of uh, uh, engagement that we have, creating jobs across the value chain and then also providing a sort of engagement and livelihood for all the participants and stakeholders that are uh, uh, cut across our value chain in, in recycling. I will quickly brush down this quickly so that um, uh, we, we, we as I can meet up the time. Um, value proposition for us is to create wealth from waste. And then the impact is to be able to support poverty eradication, so, uh, facilitate youth employment, uh, you know, empower women, foster community engagement, and most efficiently uh, uh, facilitate a circular economy. And, and that's basically what we do with, with regards to the items. But to be able to quickly go down, we have a lot of initiatives, but I want to quickly go down to uh, the discussion today. And um, uniquely based because of the challenges of COVID, 
um, which man which actually mandates us to do things like social distancing and uh, avoid face-to-face -face contact. Our recycle points went back to the drawing board and we came uh, up with uh, a particular um, model we call the drop-off uh, recycling initiative. And uh, with our partners overseas, we were able to design um, a particular asset that allows us to be able to collect materials directly or have the post consumers come in and drop their items in such a way that we will reduce contact with people. And that's basically what the uh, Dory Bean does. It comes with a lot of features, internet of things uh, that allows people for, allows us as a company to be able to optimize our collection because we have certain uh, field sensors in this particular bin that allows us to know when these beans are filled up such that we only would have to visit the beans when they are filled up, which also helps us not just to optimize our logistics, but also reduce the carbon footprint that has to happen with our trucks having to go to these locations when they are not filled up. And then another unique feature that it has is that uh, it also allows us to be able to monitor um, the, with the data that comes in from the bean host that man this particular receptacle, we're able to identify or monitor um, the recycling behavior of most of our post consumers, as this will also inform the kind of, um, if we need to be able to provide more bean locations in this particular area, or actually attend to them based on the, the information that comes back to us from, from using this receptacle. And we basically use our mobile app um, to, to monitor this, um, a mobile app integrates to all the bin hosts and, and also for all our recyclers who have access to mobile and web applications, they can be able to log on online and register on our platform and then recycle and then end their points and also make requests for, for pickups if they want and also have that opportunity to redeem their points for value and within the va framework of our reporting, you have things like you have to create things like journey list that makes for efficiency in um, moving around to pick up items. And then we also have a daily collection reports, and then we have materials pickup forms that people could put out, and then our daily hub. Uh, co-sub reports that allows us to know what is happening at our various locations. This clearly um, get, gives us data that helps to us to be in this particular space to ensure that we can clearly you know, mitigate the plastic menace situation that we have. Thank you.